In this episode of Top of the Key, we talk about the New York Knicks becoming a dynasty again in my mind, the Cavs sliding on defense, and all the other NBA action that took place over the weekend. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Top of the Key, presented by TurtleShow.com. My name is Mike Floyd, and in this show we talk about everything NBA-related, from news, scores, garbage games, players getting hurt, all the above. So to start out, as you can see, I'm wearing the team, the New York Knicks. We're on a streak right now. You know, we're about to go to the championship if the season ended possibly tomorrow. But uh, we won two in a row right now, beat the Brooklyn Nets, who's like the stepchild of New York, and we also beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I want to start talking about the, the Knicks first. So the uh, New York Knicks, they ended up winning 114-95 against the Cuban Cavaliers. New York Knicks now 2-3. and three. Uh, Cleveland's 3-4 and four at the moment. The reason why New York's doing so good is because of Christos Porzingis. He uh, played 35 minutes, 32 points. He had uh, 12 rebounds. The, the dude's been going off. I want to say this is his fourth game with plus 30 points back to back to back. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. as well, he played pretty good for us. Played 41 minutes, uh, 34 points. For some reason, Tim Hardaway Jr. has his best games against the Cleveland Cavaliers. He completely went off on him against the Atlanta Hawks. When, when he played with the Atlanta Hawks back in, I want to say, February, when he was signed to them. So I think he had dropped 32 on them. So he does really good against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Just all together, the, the team's looking pretty good. Frank Nilakina, the uh, the 19-year-old phenom out of France, he, uh, he's slowly coming along. His defensive play is pretty good. Uh, he played pretty good defense against uh, D-Way. He got crossed over pretty pretty nasty, but it, it could get worked on. But I think if they're going to use him in the same role that the LA Lakers used Lonzo Ball, he's not going to really be a scorer for us because he only had uh, five points. But he, he, he his court vision is pretty good. So he's going to make some pretty good passes for us. Open up the lanes, allow Chris Stotts to do his thing. Canner, he was going off as well. You know, dropped 18 points. He was controlling the paint, uh, 12 rebounds. So these guys are doing pretty good. On the Cleveland side of the ball, uh, Cleveland, I think they lost three straight. They lost to the Brooklyn Nets, the New Orleans Pelicans, and now the, the Knicks. They also lost to the Magic, I want to say two games before the Nets game. So they're having some trouble on their side. Uh, LeBron, he's still doing his thing. You know, he dropped his 16 points, uh, 10 rebounds, seven assists. Uh, the D Rose that came back, he was back in the lineup. Um, he wasn't starting. The my bad, he was starting. He, the starting lineup was LeBron James, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith, and Derrick Rose. Like I said a couple of shows ago, D Wade went back to the bench. J.R. Smith took his position back, and they've just been having some problems. Um, they can get buckets, but they're just really bad on defense. They ended up benching Jay Crowder, and he just hasn't been the same when he was with the Celtics. Uh, J.R. Smith, he's barely hitting his shots. He only has 11 points right now. Uh, what, what kept him in the game was uh, Kevin Love and Kyle Korver. Uh, Kyle Korver was dropping threes out of left, left field. You know, he had 13 points. Kevin Love had 22. You could just tell in LeBron's body language that he's pretty, he's still carrying the team. He's getting tired of, you know, losing these games. Like the uh, New Orleans games, they look pretty bad. But, you know, when he was asked about the whole defensive play and everything, he said, hey, it's, you know, it's October. It's still pretty early, it, which is true. But if they don't figure out what's going on there and they keep sliding, it's going to be really hard for them to call back up. Because as of right now, if they release the rankings right now, they'll be 10th in the East right now, which is not good for them. Uh, the next game for the Knicks is going to be the Denver Nuggets. They're going to be playing tonight in New York. So hopefully this little streak can continue. I mean... I think Denver put up some pretty good numbers against the Brooklyn Nets yesterday, but I mean, it is the Knicks. They are, you know, God's team, so we should be able to do something against the Nuggets. Cleveland, on the other hand, they don't play again until Wednesday. They play against the Indiana Pacers, so I mean, Indiana's been playing pretty good. Uh, Oladipo, he's dropping shots left and right and, you know, taking people out of the game, so it'll be interesting to see what, how, because they, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they keep changing their lineup. And it'll be interesting to see what Ty Lue's going to do. I honestly don't think Ty Lue should be there. I think they need a new coach out there, but I don't know who's available to actually go coach that team. Speaking of the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, DeMarcus Cousins, Boogie Cousins, he has a revenge game against the Sacramento Kings. You know, the first time he's played him since he got traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, New Orleans ended up beating the Kings 114-106, and Boogie Cousins just went completely off. 
He had 41 points, 23 rebounds. Anthony Davis didn't play that game. He was still dealing with knee issues. And it just goes to show that that he was the heart and soul of the Kings because the Kings are just straight garbage right now. The moment they're one and four, I don't even remember who they beat. Uh, they got a lot of young talent out there. They got Vince Carter out there looking sad, but I mean, he's just out there, you know, playing to play. But as of right now, Boogie Cousins looks like an all-star. When they ended up playing the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers on Saturday, uh, Boogie had, you know, he had a triple-double, 29 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. And it seems like they're using Boogie in a kind of position like the LeBron is. I think they got him in like that two spot. And they have Anthony Davis as, you know, cutting toward the basket, filling up the paint, and, you know, just getting easy layups and stuff like that. That's usually what you see DeMarcus Cousins doing, but he's taking more threes, taking more, you know, jump shots, which is actually working for them. So when those two big men are hot, it's really hard to beat them. So it'll be really nice to see what they're going to do in the West, because if they can keep this momentum going, they're 3-3 three three at the moment. They can make a lot of noise. Uh, speaking about the West, everybody was looking at the LA Clippers. They were on this little uh, nice little streak. And that finally ended when the Detroit Pistons came into town. The Detroit ended up beating the Clippers 95-87. Uh, for some reason, Detroit, they just like beating these Western teams. They beat the Timberwolves, they beat the Clippers, and they also beat the Warriors last night. And I think it's good for the Clippers to actually lose that game because they, they had a pretty close game the night previously where Blake Griffin had a nice three, which ended up the, winning the game. So they're winning close games, but now... They can see what's messed up with their game and actually fix these problems. So when it does come time for that push, they don't fall apart like they normally do. Because usually around, I want to say like January, possibly February, uh, Blake Griffin was getting hurt. When they had CP3, CP3 was getting hurt. But I do think it's helping them out that they don't, they no longer have CP3 because he's not that, he's not as ball dominant, which allows Blake Griffin to get in his groove earlier. It allows DeAndre uh, Jordan to. You know, just crash those boards, get all those rebounds, and just allows Patrick Beverly to do his thing. So, I think it's a lot better for them. So, looking at the standings right now, I mean, yeah, the top 10 are Detroit, Boston, Orlando, Washington, Milwaukee, Toronto, Charlotte, Indiana, Brooklyn, and Cleveland. I know it's early. I mean, it's only the second week, but that's pretty crazy. Uh, people are already starting the whole Cavs don't play good in the regular season excuse. I, I think it's ridiculous that they use that excuse every single year. And it just, to me, if you have all these superstars on one team, they shouldn't be sliding like this. But then again, the Warriors haven't really been the Warriors themselves. They've been, they have had so many turnovers that is ridiculous. And they are just losing games. They lost to the Detroit Pistons due to turnovers. Uh, the Golden State Warriors, they lost to Detroit Pistons 115-107. Uh, the Pistons ended up racing a 14-point deficit with 20 minutes left. I mean... I don't know what else the Warriors, it, is, it just seems like everybody's gunning for the Warriors, just they're the champs, I mean, that's what's going to happen, just the way they're gunning for the Cavs, because LeBron plays for them, but it's, it seems like it's opening up everything the everything up, uh, when you look at the Western, you know, conference, their, their standings, you got Memphis, LA, the Clippers, Houston, Portland, San Antonio, Golden State, Minnesota, Utah, Denver, Oklahoma City, I expect the Oklahoma City to be a little bit higher, but I think they're still trying to mesh out there, trying to get how they're gonna get those big three, you know, Russ, Melo, and Paul George, how to play together. So I think that's a work in progress. I like what the, what Memphis is doing. Uh, they're just grinding. They're just, just beating teams left and right. Uh, San Antonio, they need Kawhi back. With Kawhi still sitting on the bench, they don't have that defensive presence that they, they need, and that also that scorer that can just dominate whenever he wants to. I mean, they just got beat. <laughs> by the Indiana Pacers. Just got beat by the Indiana Pacers, 97-94. And Olo Deepo dropped 13. 13 was 23 points in the fourth, and he hit the game winning three. But Marcus Aldridge, he played amazing defense on him, but he just a beautiful shot. So if, I think when Kawhi comes back, that's gonna halt all that. Uh, there's a couple games I'm looking forward to, especially tonight, which will be the Spurs against the uh, Celtics in Boston. I wanna see how the Lamarcus led Spurs reacts to a Kyrie led uh, Celtics. I'm also going to watch the Nuggets versus the Knicks. You know, I got to. I think we can keep this run going. The Golden State Clippers game is going to be cool. So that'll be nice to see how they react because that might be a contest coming out of the West when it comes to playoff time. Toronto Raptors, the Trailblazers, I mean, both of those teams are hot. So I, I like Damon Lillard. I like DeMar Rosen. I like all those guys. So I want to see what they're going to do. 
uh, on Wednesday, I'm gonna talk about the Philadelphia 76ers. They, their medical staff is just garbage. They keep screwing over all these young players, but they played against the Houston Rockets. And on Tuesday, uh, nothing too big. The only game I'm really looking forward to is the Oklahoma City Thunder versus Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is pretty much every game plus 30 points. Dude is ridiculous. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode, Top of the Key. You know, you can follow us on all the social media websites, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, just at Turf Toe Show. Do you remember the flagship show, Turf Toe Show? Comes out every Thursday. That's where we break down all the football action. Like Deshaun Watson going off, setting records all over the place for QBs, rookies, everything. Talk about the, all the QB controversy that's going on. <laughs> just pretty much anything. And also this World Series, which is bananas at the moment. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you know, give us a like, subscribe. It has, mainly we post a lot on Facebook, you know. So any updates that we have, you can catch us there. So until next time, guys.